It goes back to when I was a kid and I watched a World Vision commercial, seeing the children with um, big wide eyes, emaciated bodies looking into the camera. I remember the feeling, I can still feel it today, and it's the same feeling. It was just this feeling, it wasn't of pity, but it was of, um, it, it was deep sorrow for the pain that people experience, and, but then it was this knowledge that if I didn't do something that I would, that I would die inside that a part of me would be destroyed. And so it was this propulsion, right? So it was the propulsion to do something about, about something. And so then, you know, it, so my means to my end right then was just learning how to make money when I was six. So I was delivering newspapers so I could make enough money to sponsor a child because my mum was smart enough to realize that if, she, if I passed the responsibility to her, then I would just think that's how you live life. You get somebody else to, do something that you feel like is meaningful. But I knew that I had to do something. If, if that cause, if someone was to be helped, that it, if it was to be, it was up to me. So then when I went to Tanzania and Kenya, then I got like a little mini DV uh, video camera, a flip out screen. My, my dad got it for me and I filmed out there, filmed these stories of, of and, and it, for me, it was just like a montage, a travel video, like showing this, but, doing as best as what I could to tell these stories of, of, of these people. And it was even just taking photos and asking questions. Um, I remember when I asked a 14 year old um, whose parents had died of AIDS, what do you want to be when you grow up? And she said, a doctor. And, and then for me, that just had such a profound effect on my life. Well, why would she want to be a doctor? Because she wanted to help her parents before they died and she wants to help the other people in the village. And this child, you know, he doesn't even have an education. She can't even go to school because she's been abandoned. I just remember these stories having such an impact and, and just knowing that this was a total injustice unless the story was told. But if the story could be told, then, then, um, then, then it would mean, it would mean, it would mean that it wasn't in vain, that the story would somehow make it make sense and that it was all it was all worth something that's what that's what the story was for me and so i had to tell the story it was like it was like being entrusted with a message and then if i could tell that story and get it out to the world it would it would mean that it wasn't worthless it didn't just happen and, and that's what led me through, through each of the circumstances, through each of the new things that I would take on. It was like, what story needs to be told to set somebody free, to make an impact, change somebody's life, to help make it make sense. And I think that when I look back, I think about my own story and that all of this is still just being making sense of my own life. Doing what I do that it, it brings meaning to my life and makes it all make sense. I've been able to create films on subjects that are very relevant to people today. Cancer, autoimmune disease like arthritis, lupus, Crohn's, colitis, uh, neurodegenerative diseases, Alzheimer's, dementia, and then a broad other spectrum of ailments and challenges that we all face in general health and wellness. And these films that I've created over the last few years have been able to reach in excess of 20 million people. Um, some of these being my own projects that I've, I've founded and other ones that I've been working for with, with other companies helping to promote their message because I believe in it. And I've had and been able to witness thousands of people report back and share the transformations that have happened in their lives. People that were given terminal diagnoses that have said that they've used the information and they're alive past their diagnosis and they've been able to improve their health, turn around their lives, have the experiences that they long to have with their family. And it's just been super rewarding. And for me, I think about all the people and I think about the masses of people, but for me, it's the, it's the one individual. It's the person that it made a difference for them. And that's why I created this. And if it can reach more people and give that transformation to more people, that just fuels me all the more. I'm here to be Jonathan Otto. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Just what God has made me to be, and that's enough. And I just hopefully that'll be 
what somebody needs at some point in their life. And that's enough for me. <laughs>